You can be the most talented, the smartest, the best educated person with the very most valuable contacts and all the advantages in life, but if you are not focused, it doesn't do you any good at all. Life is not a rehearsal. Each day is a new show. No repeat, no rewind. So give your best shot in all your worthy acts as the show must go on and on. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. All that matters is where you are going. To earn more, you must learn more. In an article for the Wall Street Journal, I wrote that if you do not have clear, specific goals for your life, you are doomed forever to work for people who do. And that seems to be the case, yet only 5% of people have goals. So the key starting point with regard to clarity is to know where it is you're going, what it is you want to be, what it is you want to have, and what it is you want to do. Because in America, in the most blessed society in all of human history, you can have anything in the world that you want if you can decide what it is that you want. I think that the ability to focus and concentration are the two keys to success in life, that the ability to focus clearly and know exactly what it is you want to accomplish and the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on accomplishing that one thing without diversion or distraction are the keys to success. It's the number one key to effectiveness, to, to be able to sit down and look at your work and use the 80-20 rule. Say to yourself, which is the 20% of the number of things that I have to do that account for 80% of the value of my work and always work on the top 20. You see, in life, there's never enough time to do everything but there's always enough time to do the important things. Instead of doing what is fun and easy, which is what most people do, you know, they make a list of everything they have to do, and then they start at the bottom of the list, and they work on the irrelevant things. At the end of the day, they haven't got anything done. Successful people, peak performers, concentrate on the top items. And remember, anything other than working on the top items on your list is a waste of your time. And time management is not just time management. Time management is life management. You can do anything you want with your life if you manage your time properly. We all have the same 24 hours a day and the ability to concentrate, 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 to discipline yourself, to use willpower and perseverance to concentrate on one thing at a time is a quality of all success. Nothing great has ever been accomplished without the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on one thing at a time. Always concentrate on the best use of your time. Here is my favorite time management question which I give to you for free. It's simply this. Before you start anything, ask yourself, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? Make a list and say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? When you get into your car, say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? When you leave the house or leave the office, say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now. Ask yourself that question over and over and over again. Repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until it's driven into the subconscious mind as a command. And whenever you have a temptation to do something that is small and irrelevant, that command will go, blam, what is the most valuable use of your time right now? And it'll push you into doing what is the most valuable use of your time. And whenever you're working on the most valuable use of your time, you feel great. You get concentrated effort is a source of energy and enthusiasm. It makes you feel wonderful when you're working on something important and it makes you feel nothing when you're working on something irrelevant. Develop a sense of urgency. A sense of urgency is a quality that is possessed by only 2% of the population. 2% of the population do things fast. Only 2% of people take quick action. In Tom Peters' great book, In Search of Excellence, he says all the best companies act quickly. Companies that don't act fast aren't considered excellent. You contact them with a problem, and it takes ages to hear back. But excellent companies respond in minutes. Focus on one thing at a time. Avoid distractions like emails and noises. Know exactly what you want in life. Successful people, the top 5%, are clear about their goals. Unsuccessful people lack direction. Humans need goals to thrive. Most unhappiness and problems stem from not knowing where you're headed. If you don't have a goal, any path will do. What one skill, if you developed it, could have the greatest positive impact on your career. This is the key to your future. There is never enough time to do everything, but there is always enough time to do the most important thing. Whatever skill you identify, you can learn. There's nothing that uh, can stop you from excelling in that skill. 
It's simply a matter of time. Some people will get better at it faster, others slower. But they've discovered in 25 years of research at the University of Florida, they've looked at people who started at the bottom and got to the top and became the heads of Fortune 500, heads of Fortune 1000 corporations. And they went all the way back to their early performance appraisals and comments by their supervisors. And they found that they had all settled on the same strategy. And the same strategy was to identify the one skill that would help them the most at this stage of their career, and then concentrate single-mindedly on learning that skill. And they were serious about this. They didn't just read a book or an article. They made a plan, like a lesson plan, and they asked, what are the best books to read in this area? What are the best programs, audio programs, to listen to? What are the best courses to attend? And they developed a course of study, and they worked for weeks and months, and even a year or more, to develop that skill. And once they had developed that skill, and people started to tell them, hey, you're pretty good in that area, and that was their sign that they had mastered the skill. And then they would ask their boss, or ask their coworkers to look at the top people around them or the most successful business people around them and they would identify the next skill. And what we find is that all of life is like climbing a ladder and each step on the ladder is mastering a new skill. And what they've taught people do, and this is one of the greatest breakthroughs in business success I've ever seen in an entire life of study in the subject, is what they do is they get better one skill at a time. They don't try to get better at 10 skills because that just exhausts you and you see no progress and you soon quit. So what they would do is focus like a laser beam on a single skill until they had mastered it. Excellence perfection is not a destination, it is a continuous journey that never ends. But here's the most amazing thing. When you are focusing on the development or acquisition of a particular skill, your whole mind is in improvement mode. So what happens is, you automatically start to get better at everything else without even thinking about it. You're just more conscious and aware of things that you can do to be better in other areas by focusing on a single skill. They call this Paris Anderson, who did all this work, calls it deliberate practice. And it is the key to great success, deliberately practicing one skill at a time. Once you have learned this skill, which you will, nothing can stop you from mastering a skill. Who is that? It's always yourself. It's a lack of self-discipline, lack of personal management, lack of control, and so on. I don't have enough time. I'm so busy. I'm tired all the time. Wow, shut up, shut up. So what it takes, and they found that it takes about two hours a day, five days a week of deliberate practice or focus on a new skill to master the skill. Once you have mastered the skill, then what do you do? Well, it's obvious you ask the question again. Now what one skill, if I was absolutely excellent at it, would help me the most to achieve my financial or business goals? What's the one skill? I once had a private meeting with the head of one of the world's largest companies. It's frustrating because I can't recall his name right now. However, I had read a book he wrote 10 years prior, drawing from over 30 years of experience. He had led two Fortune 500 companies. He shared something profound. Your weakest important skill determines your income. In every field, there are five to seven crucial skills. Your weakest skill in this group sets the limit for your income and success. Often, it's one skill holding us back the most. When I mention this, everyone understands it's typically a skill like marketing, sales, business development, or customer relationships. The question is, will we sit passively or will we say, I'm gonna learn that skill. And we must strive to excel in it, whatever it may be. And the amazing thing is, once you master a skill, something clicks in your mind. You realize, I can learn new skills, I could learn anything, languages, anything at all, wow. Suddenly, all your doubts and lack of confidence vanish. You realize you can learn anything you need to, and it empowers you greatly. From then on, your life becomes a DIY project. You focus on learning one skill at a time, climbing the ladder of success. Each step brings higher income, more influence, and greater power in your profession. Improving in your field is crucial. So let me ask you, what's the most important work in your field? What's the highest paid work? It's thinking. You may have heard this before, and it's true. The answer is thinking. When I first heard this question, I wasn't sure of the answer, but 
the most important work you do is thinking, thinking well about yourself and your work. Every mistake you've made is due to poor thinking or not thinking at all. We all know what I mean. Every success you've had usually resulted from good thinking before taking action. Now, the reason why thinking is so important is the quality of your thinking determines the quality of your decisions. And it's an interesting observation that you are where you are and what you are today as a result of the total of all your choices and decisions up to this moment in every part of your life from the time you became an adult or before you've made choices and decisions. The cumulative result is where you are today, your income, your health, your happiness, your business, everything else. But my great rule, which is quoted all the time, is that it doesn't matter where you're coming from. All that really matters is where you're going. And where you're going is only limited by your imagination. So what you do is you say, forget the past. In the past, I could have done things differently, but I can't change the past, but I can change the future completely by what I do now. The quality of your thinking determines the quality of your choices and decisions. The quality of your choices and decisions determines the quality of your actions. And the quality of your actions determines the quality of your results. And in business and life, everything is results. Results are the most important single word. What results are expected of you? What results do you need to get in order to achieve the goals that you've set for yourself? And the ability to be absolutely crystal clear about the results that are necessary is the mark of the leader. Yeah, Peter Drucker said that the first question of the leader is always, what results are expected of me? What results are expected of me to fulfill my responsibilities, to fulfill my commitments? It's absolutely amazing. If you ask this question, you'll find that 80% of your time at work is spent on doing things that have nothing to do with results. They are just busy things, conversations, reading the paper, making phone calls, going for lunch, and so on. And if you're really strict with yourself, you'll find that much of what we do contributes nothing to the results that are most important to our success. And successful people are those who are very disciplined. They ask, is this the very best use of my time? Now, uh, the importance of thinking goes beyond just achieving results. It's about understanding consequences. When I delved into time management and created various programs and books, I became recognized as one of the top time management authors globally with works published in 42 languages. One concept that truly impacted me was the idea of consequences. This concept suggests that something is important to the extent that it carries significant potential consequences. Conversely, something is deemed unimportant if it has low or no consequences. The disparity between top achievers and average individuals lies in their prioritization. Top achievers focus on tasks with substantial potential consequences, even if the outcomes aren't guaranteed. In contrast, average people spend their time on tasks with little to no impact. These tasks could be done all day without making a difference. Top achievers recognize the few critical actions that can lead to significant outcomes, whether it's learning a crucial skill, making a pivotal decision, or taking an important action. I've been teaching for over 30 years that you can learn anything necessary to achieve your goals, whether it's improving health, wealth, raising happy children, or building a successful business. There are no limits to what you can learn. This realization was a turning point in my life. The important thing is to consider what the other person requires and desires. It's intriguing to observe successful business people's mindset. They prioritize the customer and aim to enhance their life with their product or service. They genuinely believe in the value of what they offer, whether it's vitamins, cell phones, or home furnishings. They're confident that these products will enrich lives as they would even recommend them to their own family. Their focus is always on how they can assist customers in improving their lives. Given the widespread skepticism and the inundation of commercial messages, about 3,000 to 5,000 advertisements each day, people naturally approach new products with caution. To overcome this skepticism, you must consider what your potential customers truly need and desire to enhance their lives. What problems can your product solve for them? What needs can it fulfill? What goals can it help them achieve? Once you've identified these aspects, you can confidently explain to them why your product or service is worth considering. 
many people, especially the bottom 80%, uh, tend to be lazy, although it's not polite to discuss it openly. They often seek shortcuts to success, hoping for an easy way to achieve their goals. However, success doesn't come from shortcuts. It comes from consistent effort and hard work, which builds habits over time. Unfortunately, most people are habituated to seeking the path of least resistance, surrounded by others who share the same mindset. It's been observed that as much as 95% of our thinking is influenced by the people we regularly associate with. If we surround ourselves with individuals who lack ambition and don't strive for self-improvement, we gradually adopt their attitudes and behaviors. This affects not just our mindset, but also our lifestyle choices, relationships, and even our children's upbringing. In contrast, successful individuals tend to associate with other high achievers. This aligns with the concept of the law of attraction. Changing our mindset attracts like-minded people into our lives. By prioritizing personal growth and development, we naturally gravitate towards those who share similar goals and aspirations. This shift in associations leads to the emergence of a new social circle that supports our journey towards success. So the key is to start by becoming the kind of person you aspire to be. When you cultivate self-respect and a positive uh, self-image, you're more likely to set ambitious goals and persist in pursuing them. Therefore, nurturing high levels of self-confidence and self-esteem is crucial, both in childhood and adulthood. As adults, we must focus on building our mental resilience and positivity through continuous self-improvement and positive reinforcement. Just as physical fitness requires regular exercise, mental fitness, feeling positive about oneself and one's life, requires consistent mental effort and reinforcement. One of the most important things I've discovered is the concept of self-esteem, which is closely linked to self-efficacy. Self-efficacy means being skilled and competent in what you do. As you strive to improve in your chosen field, whether it's at school or work, you naturally feel more confident and positive about yourself. This creates a positive feedback loop. The more you like yourself, the better you become, and the better you become, the more you like yourself. This upward spiral is crucial for success, especially for young people. The key to success is straightforward. You need to excel at something that is valuable and significant to an employer. It's essential to become highly proficient in your chosen area. Successful individuals aren't average. They invest the time and effort required to excel in their field, whether you're a gardener, an interviewer, or a speaker. It takes dedication and hard work to become truly skilled. However, if you commit to working extra hours and striving for excellence, you'll unlock countless opportunities. Your self-confidence will soar, earning you admiration and respect from uh, others. Employers will recognize your talent and open doors for you. It's surprising that only a small percentage of the population, around 10%, fully grasps this concept. The majority, about 80%, settle for mediocrity. They reach a certain level of competence in their work and then plateau. Years pass, but they fail to improve or grow. They do just enough to avoid losing their jobs until circumstances like an economic downturn force them out of their roles. In contrast, the top 10% are always striving for improvement. They embrace lifelong learning and continuously seek to enhance their skills. By committing to this path of growth, you take control of your future. Without it, you remain at the mercy of rapid changes in the world around you. 